Hello smart people, welcome back to this comments class. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download data sets from Kaggle. So let's launch our browser and go to Google and search for Kaggle. So Kaggle. And now you see the first link. Okay, so Kaggle is a data science competition platform, an online community of data scientists and machine learning practitioners. Okay, so let's click the first link. When you click on the first link, it will take you to Kaggle's website. So before you can download a data set, you need to log in. Okay, so when you come to the right top corner, you see where you log in. I've already logged in, so you can also log out. Okay, so this platform, you can do many things. You can download data sets, you can upload data sets. So I have my own data set here, which I uploaded some years ago. And you can put in some notes here. You can also join the competition, which also comes with a price. You can do discussion and also you can take some courses. And you can read on my, you can watch my previous videos, which I did um, a course, which you can take in Kaggle. Okay, so here is my data set. Okay, so let's go straight to the point. Let's go to data sets. Now you click on the data set. So we have the categories. If you want all the data sets, you want um, computer science education, classification. So you can click on the filter too. So when you click on the filter, you can search for the file size you want. You can give it a limit. Okay, so the file type, you can select the CSV, the JSON, and others. Okay. So we have a lot of, we have over 10 million data sets here. 10 million data sets. So all what you need is to search. Okay, so let me click on the CO and see what you see here. Okay, so let's click on this one. So here you can have the active hotness, the recently viewed, the published, the up, updated, the visibility, and the more votes. Okay, so sometimes when you click on the more votes, the most votes, you see the ones people have um, recommended and also using and also they are recently used. But based on what you want to do, you search the data set you want. Okay, so you can see we have the cyberbullying threat. Okay, so we have the data set here. We have the population collapse time series data of the world. So this one is um, this one is linear regression. That is time series analysis. So we have the classification and the linear regression. And we have the cluster. Okay, so we have the e comments. So let's say we are searching for a medicine data sets. Hmm. click on it so you can see we have a lot of medicine data sets we have medicine prices in Brazil okay we have um, Z to Z medicine data sets in India okay we have medicine descriptions okay we have the COVID open the COVID-19 open research data set challenge okay Okay, so let's take one. Let's say let's um, search for housing, housing pricing. So let's search for housing pricing. Okay, so those who are old in data science and machine learning, I think you've used the Boston housing pricing before. So you can say it's six years ago. So we have the the housing data set. So let's choose the California housing prices. Okay. It's only 409 kilobytes. Okay. So when you click on it, now you see the download. You see the download here and you see the vote. Okay. So before you download, you can check the columns. So when you come to the down part, you see the various columns in the data set. 
Okay, so we have the longitude, latitude, we have the housing media, we have the, um, the total rules. So these are the details. So when you click here, you are going to see the columns. So you see the columns. So the population. So, let's see. So we have 10 columns. So this is the summary. Okay. When you click on it, it will just show you all the columns. That is the um, data type, whether string or... Okay. So yet we can download the data sets from here straight away. And you can read more about your data set before you download. Sometimes you download a data set which is not what you want. So you come to the detail, you read on the, the columns. And so when you go top here, you see the about data set. So you see, you see data, secondary um, data set, runs on machine learning, scikit learn, and um, TensorFlow. Okay. So let's check another, let, let, let's download this one. So when you click on it, it will download. It won't take time. So you see, so it will download in CSV. Okay, so this is a zip file, so you just unzip it. So I'll show you how to unzip it. Okay. So let's search another one. Um. So it's done downloading. Okay, so let's search for another one. Well, let's say football, sports. Eh? I like sports. Okay, let's search for the sports. It's a lot. Okay, so before um, we continue on this one, let's go and check our previous. Okay, so it's in. Okay, so you see we have the classification um, we have classification we have the spot car prices so this one you can use it for linear analysis okay okay so let's go to the spot this one so it's um nine kilobytes here is the, about the data set okay so the columns so let's go straight away and download it. Okay. So let's open it. Okay. So you see the data set set for the spots. Which is very easy to do your analysis and also do your machine learning. Okay, so let's try the other one too. We downloaded two, so let's open the other one. So this was the California housing. Okay, so the housing, let's open it. Okay, so if you remember, we saw lat longitudes, latitude, the housing, the total rooms, the population. Okay, so that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any suggestion or any comment you can leave it in the comment section thank you for watching see you on the next video peace